So this activity is all about using dynamic geometry to help you get to grips with the defining properties of quadrilaterals. That's the shapes with four sides. So you can see from the activity page straight away that there are uh, seven different shapes for you to work with. And the first one is on the main page. And if you just scroll down the main page, you see the heading shape one turns up there. And inside this blue window here, I've got a shape that I can play with. It's made with dynamic geometry, which means there are some bits that I can move. So I'm looking at that shape and seeing, oh, I can move that corner. I can, I can, I can move, I can't move that corner, but I can move that one. And maybe I can move that one as well. And everything changes the shape in one way or another. So I've now got to look at all these properties that are listed down here and decide whether I think the shape above has them always, sometimes, or never. So I might go back to my shape, pull a few things around and say, well, one thing I can see that doesn't change is that these two lines, that line there and that line above it, are always parallel. So I know it's always got one pair of parallel sides. So I'm going to put that in the always column. Okay. Uh, I can also see that it's always got at least one pair of equal sides. And so on. Now why don't I look at this one that says four right angles and say, well, if I look at the shape right now, it doesn't seem to have four right angles. But can I change it so that it does? Look, and I've changed it so that it does. So sometimes it can have four right angles, but certainly not always. So the four right angles one goes in the sometimes column. You'll also see that there are some actual shapes down here as well. So because I've made it have four right angles, I might say that sometimes it can be a rectangle. So right now I've made it a rectangle. Maybe I can still change some features of it and it's a different rectangle as long as it still has the four right angles. Right angles. So sometimes it's a rectangle, but not always. So that's the idea. I've got to take these properties and shapes and decide which of these three columns they go in. Now, at the end of that, you should end up with one shape that you think this is always. OK, so that's the task. And as you have saw from the top, there are seven different shapes to play with. So if we scroll back up, we can see there, there are lots of different ways to get to these shapes. They're linked to in the text there. They're linked to and color coded so that it's easy for you to talk to each other about it. Oh, what's the green one, for example? And they're linked to from the left hand menu here. And if I just look at the second one, there's the orange one. OK, it's exactly the same idea, but a different construction in there. So you have to figure out what that shape is always going to be. And then there's the green one, the pink one, the red one, the purple one, and the charcoal grey one. Okay, good luck.